is someone emailed in this this question uh, again we get this a lot but are assets <clears throat> are assets frozen in a probate and if you let's say there's two business partners or two people that own an asset one of them you know dies right. doesn't have an estate plan are the assets actually frozen and if so how long is it disruptive to a business to owning a property it, you know what, what re actually happens there Right. So when, when, yeah, there is what's called an estate freeze. There's a, there's a freeze on the assets. And if not in the probate area, I even do it at a trustee area. All we're trying to figure out is what am I dealing with here, right? What are my assets and what are my liabilities? I need to net this thing out. And it's no different in a trust administration or in an estate administration. There's going to be a period of time where somebody, whether it's an executor whether it's an administrator or whether it's a trustee, they're going to take a, st a step back and say, wait a second, I need to muster up all my assets. I need to muster up all of my liabilities and find out what am I dealing with. And the reason why, Paul, is because if the fiduciary makes a distribution of assets and then there's still some liabilities, whether they're creditor liabilities or the tax liabilities, who's on the hook for that? The fiduciary. Right. So the fiduciary is not going to let anything go until they feel comfortable about that. And there's no difference on the business side of things, business side of things. So it's not that there's a mandatory freeze for some prescribed timeline in a probate code. It's more the fiduciary's prudent behavior is that they're not going to want to let things go until they get their handle on what it is that they're dealing with. So I think it's more of a practical freeze than it is a legal freeze. But if there's no estate plan, then there would right. be no fiduciary there, no, right? No, there is, there is. If there's no estate plan, you have an executor. You're now in, you're, oh. you're in probate. So but it, oh. it, the two things are very analogous, right? So if you have a will only, you'll have an executor. As the, as the fiduciary. If you don't have a will at all, you have what's called an intestate estate, you'll have an administrator. And if you have it in trust, you'll have a trustee, all of which are very similar roles, just different legal capacities, but they all have that same issue. Now, but what also happens though, Paul, is that you have contests, right? Everyone's kind of complaining. I want the business. No, I want the business. No, mommy told me this. No, daddy told me this, blah, 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 blah. Now, when you have the subject property at issue, now for sure, you're going to have a freeze until the court can figure out what's going on. Okay. So it can be very, very disruptive. And after over two decades of dealing with this, I can give you horror story after horror story after failed business after failed business, all because the, it wasn't done properly in, in either a trust and or a stated situation. Yeah. Uh